Good morning to you all on this very blustery uh, Monday morning. My name's Reverend Jo Richards, rector here in Canterbury, St Dunstan's, St Mildred's and St Peter's. And I do hope all is well after our somewhat stormy couple of days. But we gather together here to worship God in our morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made, as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep. Open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will. That the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 71. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a, short, a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence, even from my youth. Upon you have I learned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not where my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long. For I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O oh God, when I am old and grey-haired, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you show me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp. For your faithfulness, O my God, I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. O God, be not far from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning, again, continuation from Genesis, and it's chapter 29, verses 31 
to chapter 30, 24. When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Leah conceived and bore a son, and she named him Reuben. For she said, Because the Lord has looked on my affliction, surely now my husband will love me. She conceived again and bore a son, and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am hated, he has given me this son also. And she named him Simeon. Again she conceived and bore a son, and said, Now this time my husband will be joined to me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore he was named Levi. She conceived again and bore a son, and said, This time I will praise the Lord. Therefore she named him Judah. Then she ceased bearing. When Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, she envied her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or I shall die. Jacob became very angry with Rachel and said, Am I in the place of God who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? Then she said, Here is my maid Billa. Go into her that she may bear upon my knees that I too may have children through her. So she gave him her maid Billa as a wife and Jacob went into her and Billa conceived and bore Jacob a son. Then Rachel said, God has judged me, and has also heard my voice, and given me a son. Therefore she named him Dan. Rachel's maid, Bilah, conceived again, and bore Jacob a second son. Then Rachel said, With mighty wrestlings I have wrestled with my sister, and have prevailed. So she named him Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had ceased bearing children, she took her maid, Zilpha, and gave her to Jacob as a wife. Then Leah's maid, Zilpha, bore Jacob a son, and Leah said, Good fortune, so she named him Gad. Leah's maid, Zilpha, bore Jacob a second son, and Leah said, Happy am I, for the woman will call me happy. So she named him Asher. In the days of wheat harvest, Reuben went and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But she said to her, Is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? Would you take away my son's mandrakes too? Rachel said, Then he may lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. When Jacob came from the field in the evening, Leah went out to meet him and said, You must come in to me, for I have hired you with my son's mandrakes. So he lay with her that night, and God heeded Leah, and she conceived and bore Jacob's a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me my hire because I gave my maid to my husband. So she named him Ishkar, and Leah conceived again, and she bore Jacob a sixth son. Then Leah said, God has endowed me with a good dowry. Now my husband will honour me, because I have borne him six sons. So she named him Zebulun. Afterwards, she bore a daughter and named her Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel. And God heeded her and opened her womb. She conceived and bore a son and said, God has taken away my reproach. And she named him Joseph, saying, May the Lord add to me another son. And now for our canticle. All the earth shall shout and sing for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day will you say, give thanks to the Lord 
and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Our second reading this morning is from 2 Timothy and it's chapter 4 and it's verses 1 to 8. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message. Be persistent, whether the time is favourable or unfavourable. Convince, rebuke and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, when the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. And now for our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And now for our Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Let us pray. Holy God, we pray for the day that lies ahead. We give thanks for this day. We pray particularly for meetings that we may be having, conversations, perhaps over the phone or one-to-one, -one, bumping into somebody in the street, but we remain ever mindful of so many for whom 
they will not be seeing someone today or just see people walking past the door. We pray particularly for those that are feeling lonely and anxious at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our world. We pray that there will not be an escalation of tension between Russia and Ukraine and that peace will prevail. And we pray for wisdom for all in authority, for those who are negotiating behind the scenes, for diplomacy and for listening. And we pray for those other places around our, around the world that are on our hearts and minds today. And in a moment of quiet, we lift them to you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our church. For Justin, our Archbishop. For Rose, our our bishop, and for all those lay and ordained who minister across our benefice, across our deanery, our diocese and beyond. Giving thanks for the ministry that is offered to so many. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray this day for all those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. For those on our benefits prayer sheet. For those who've asked us for prayer at this time. And in a moment of quiet, we name them on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray at this time for all those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. For those whose anniversary of death falls today. For those who are grieving. And for those who are preparing for funerals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly at this time for all those who have been working tirelessly over the weekend in clearing up debris following the storms. We pray particularly for our emergency services, those that keep our roads, railways, safe. For those pilots over the weekend who brought their aeroplanes down safely in the turbulence of storms. In a moment of quiet we just lift to you, O oh Lord, anything that is on our hearts and minds at this time. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. Thank you as ever for joining us for morning prayer today and we'll be back at six o'clock with night prayer and again tomorrow morning at uh, at nine o'clock. So do keep safe with this. The wind's blowing again out there this morning. So do look after yourselves and we'll see you for night prayer. Bye for now. Bye.